things off here at Five Flags International Speedway. We have our Legend Series, the first race for our Champion Invitational Legend Series. Creeper starting on the front row with Cowboy to his outside, followed by Mick Pierce, Kyle Duran. Mick Pierce, Cody Duran, Kyle Duran, and Kenneth McGill in the third row there. Initial start of the race, Cowboy gets the jump, however, Creeper gets back under him. Cowboy just kind of falls off the pace here for the rest of the run and ends up dropping towards the back. While the field sorted themselves out, Creeper ended up pulling away and it almost looked like he's going to check out with a strong victory. However, after a few laps, a group of about five drivers ended up making, his way back, making their way back up to Creeper. Starting with Kyle Duran in second there with Jackal behind him. Bigfoot in the mix as well as Craig Kreitzer. Creeper fought hard and ended up blocking them off. Creeper was able to hold him off and Jackal ended up getting in front of Kyle Duran. So Jackal made his way from the very back of the field up to our big mover spot. Creeper got the win. Jackal in second, Kyle Duran third, Bigfoot in fourth, Craig Creature in fifth, Kenneth McGill sixth, Jester in seventh, Buzzer in eighth, Cody Duran in ninth, and Shadow Snake rounding out the top ten for the first running of the Legends. Moving over to our American Street Stock series, Craig Creature and Jester started on the front row with Buzzard and Rob York right behind him. Creeper bringing out the first caution with a little bit of contact there. Caution comes out and makes his way to the back of the field and starts working his way back forward. About halfway through the race, he made his way up to Mitch McCoy. Gave him a little shove down to the inside wall, causing a, another a spin out right there. However, track stayed green. Creeper made his way into the pits, came back out, and ended up just diving in too deep underneath Bigfoot, sending him and Bigfoot both into the wall there. It seemed as though caution was going out. However, Bigfoot ended up making his way to the lower inside of the track because he lost his steering and just kind of shut down right there. Caution came out so they could get Bigfoot off the back stretch. Green flag came back out with a uh, green-white checkered shootout here. Craig Creature got the initial jump on the start, however he passed the pace car. So he ended up getting a black flag immediately on the start. Buzzard takes it over, this little one-lap shootout, and makes his way to his first one of the season in the American Street Stocks. Final results, Buzzer taking the win, Kyle Duran in second, Kenneth McGill in third with the Big Mover Award, Robbie Work in fourth, Brandon Cunningham in fifth, Jester in sixth, Shadow Snake in seventh, Earl Brown in eighth, Jackal in ninth, and Tim Grace rounding out the top ten for your American Street Stocks. Over into the late model stock division, it was actually a pretty mellow race. Bigfoot and Kyle Duran started on the front row, followed by Brandon Cunningham and uh, Cody Duran, followed by it looks like Buddy Guy and Mitch McCoy rounding out the top top six in the start. Bigfoot gets the initial jump on Kyle Duran there. Bigfoot making his way to lead the first lap here at Five Flags. And Bigfoot and Kyle Duran, they're just kind of walk off away from the field up until they reach lap traffic. Bigfoot went low. Kyle blocked him high, was able to get the position on Bigfoot. Once they got out of traffic, Kyle had a pretty solid lead.
Kyle Duran ended up walking away with the win in the late model stock division, followed by Jackal, who managed to get around Bigfoot in lap traffic as well. Jackal made his way up to second, Bigfoot to third, Cody Duran in fourth, Craig Creature in fifth, Jester in sixth, Brandon Cunningham in seventh, Kenneth McGill in eighth with our Big Mover Award coming all the way back from 18th, Creeper in ninth, and Buzzard in tenth. All right, so we're taking off here for the AI Super Pro Truck Series. Tonight's finale, 80 lap event. Hopefully going to be ending it here at Five Flags Under the Lights. Oh, uh, Morty. Is that Jackal to my outside? That's Jackal to my outside. I see Buzzard in fourth. Is that, I think, Duran in third there? Nice, nice. Looks like we got a... Yeah, that's Duran. Okay, okay. A strong starting field here. Uh, so yeah, going to be getting one degree this time by. I somehow managed to qualify pole. This is a very, very unpredictable setup though, and I've got to play it very cautiously. So I might lose spots like first half of the race, but I'm going to try to gain them back, of course. I'm curious to see what happens here, of course. Uh, AI has... I kind of tweak the AI every so often and nerf some people and do very experimental stuff and whatnot. And I'm curious to see what happens here. Looks like that outside line got a very strong start and Jackal took the lead immediately. Might have the, uh, the position to kind of take him out of here though or just push off with him. Oh, okay, he might have gotten a penalty. Might have gotten a penalty there. I'm Gucci. Otherwise, my uh, shift lights would be flashing blue at me. Got to remember my, all of my, uh, my trail braking and whatnot. Just hope that we keep it uh, nice and smooth. He is in... A good spot in his standings, too. I really hope that uh, he can recover from that. Yes, Carnage Racing is one of our uh, enemies there to Project 13, but, you know, I like a close race. Except whenever I'm in the lead, then I'd like to, you know, kind of take people to Gapplebee's just to prove a point that I don't need their drafties. Uh, also, uh, is everybody enjoying the the new platform or the new format here? Because uh, I, I thought that it'd be interesting to kind of, you know, rush through the three lower series, two to three lower series, or however we do it for you know that event. You know, as we do things, we'll uh, you know I'll kind of skim through the first few things and use the bigger one as you know just the POV and me talking about or whatever. Uh, one, it helps with, you know, my overall storage space, and two, it kind of helps me out a little bit where I don't have to just, you know, that's all I'm doing every day. You know, it's easier for me to just kind of post some footage or whatever straight and not have to worry about uh, you know, going through and editing the crap out of everything. You know, a couple of replays, it ain't that bad, but, you know, whenever you pretty much double to triple your, your footage space on OBS because you got to record, you know, two to three angles of you know, the whole race, it, it ain't gonna work. It does a cool concept though, and figured it'd make it easier to slam it all into one slightly bigger video, but more condensed rather than, you know, having three to four long ass videos that people gotta just sit through the whole way. Also changed up the, uh, the overlay too. That way we kinda have like live telemetry, live scoring from everybody and the map. Just hit 11 laps there. Duran is behind me. Duran is behind me. Really hope the Jackal catches him because I'd like to see. If actually, Jackal can't catch him. That would be Buzzard. There's Jackal again. Yeah, he's out of this race. He's not going to be able to recover that that penalty. 
that blows. He's going to be dropping down to like, you know, fifth or sixth in points, if not lower. I need the win, honestly. That's the only way that I'll actually, you know, have some form or fashion of being in contention whenever the end of the season comes around, because I think we only have like 15 to anywhere from 15 to 19 races. I might add two to the schedules if, you know, I like Kern County enough and they add it to the AI stuff. I like Kern County and uh, Southern National. It'd be cool if they had ever had, like, you know, uh, uh, the Calder Drum. Is that what it is? Thunderdome? Thunderdrum? The one in Australia. Kind of like Rockingham, but we got, like, a different, very different Grand Prix course. That'd be cool to have that track laser scanned. Lost a little bit of grip there, but I think it's because I like hesitated on my uh, drag brake, my track brake, trail braking. Why am I just dealing with that much fall off? Who knows? I get myself back in this groove here. be easy just make my way through the lap traffic I'm not gonna try to bring out any cautions they black flagged the piss out of me earlier in the night five flags is not a fan of me so I can almost guarantee if I stay in the lead too long they're gonna they're gonna black flag me for something like how dare you when your truck is illegal I swear, it's the same truck I use at Martinsville. Catching up on Husson and Cowboy here. Twenty-two complete. Nice. Beyond a quarter of the way through this race, which is great because uh, Duran is catching me. But as boring as it would be to have like a, you know, twenty, thirty minutes of just straight racing like this, a green flag run is would be awesome. However, if it does go like, you know too boring or just a long stretch maybe I'll just like use some more commentary or something I think the mixing the commentary and the POV unfluidly like that was the way to go honestly I think it's unique Ooh, catching up to this whole pack here about 25 Cowboy jumped to the high side. I don't know, some of these tracks I'm just ridiculously fast and then other tracks I cannot keep up. So this whole pro track challenge is gonna be like ridiculous. That's another thing, because it's just me doing this and everybody is AI, I don't consider it a collaborative project. I just consider it personal gaming. So that's why it's on the DigiCamp Creeper channel, just sponsored by Project 13. It's all we can afford. It's AI. Can't really pay them, and here I am still trying to win back the money. It's all dollar ninety nine. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't pay to do AI racing. It's free. It's awesome. Awesome replacement for a uh, 
a career mode for sure. It plays a lot better than an ignition did. Plays better than heat and ignition. My buddy guy. Canadian stock car driving extraordinaire. Not that great in a truck. I'm sure it'd be, be like awesome in Pro Truck or something, or the uh, Pro 4, Pro 2. You know, the off road stuff. Circle track truck? No, nah, not so much. Not Buddy Guy. That's not Canadian enough for him. These things are hugging the ground. That is foreign to them. So I have pretty much lost Kyle back there. I am just checking out. This is another reason why I did not want to, like, actually commentate the uh, pro truck because that would be a, a lot of commentary to have to build on something like this where, you know, it's easier to kind of get engaged while you're watching it play out in front of your face. I know I find myself between Tim and Peyton here a lot, but it never works out for me. But they've been pretty mellow right now. Everybody's just kind of staying out of my way and letting me make my run. This might be my W in the pro truck. I was so close the last time and they, they stole it from me. They stole it from me. Tim's bumper. Let's check up there. Have both of the Cunninghams back here? Huh. So we moved Evan. Oh, he left the bottom open, but I can't get down there. Maybe I can now, because he's just going for the middle line. He's trying to break in that rubber up top. part of my tooth. Oh, Pension Cunningham into the wall there. I still did not see Duran yet. Try to get under Earl here, but oh, 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 oh. Save it. Yes, no caution. Nice. Beautiful. Oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There's the leader. Or oh, that meant my big ass lead. There's second place. Hi, Kyle. I'm going to have to be aggressive again. I goofed again. Man, I feel like Eminem, just the world's best choke artist, you know? Because I was doing all that talking and shit. No caution though, I'm still in the lead here. I think. Should be. Yeah. Still in the lead. Let's go back to building this lead here since we're almost halfway done with this race. I had a good like three or four second lead there. I could have just chilled for about ten laps and you know, not even had to worry about it. But I'm already kind of pulling on them, so I might be able to just kind of gain. I don't think I damaged the car any with that. I didn't lose too much track position on that. I, mean, I didn't really lose that in the group that I was with anyways.
Kyle is staying right there, though. Oop. Good. Painting a little bump there. Not on purpose, but uh, just because I'm kind of trying to get a little bit of an edge here on Kyle. If I can get Peyton to use the whole track for a lap or two, then it'll help me out anyways. Kind of just skate this bitch over here in the bitch tuts. Please drop low. Aww. Either way, I'm still staying ahead of Duran. Got Ammons right here. I don't know if he's going to be fast enough, but I think I might be able to get under him. Top. It's drifting up the track a little. Get underneath him, running pretty wide. Kyle's going to try to make it four. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. We're good. Did I tag the cone? I think I tagged the cone. I think I'm fully cleared Earl. So I can use the entire track if I need to now. Oh, that was awful. Looks like 27 to go. Need to brake a little bit harder, I think. No! So you mean to tell me that bitch that says position on Hussin? Alright, well, here we go. Hopefully we can make up some of these spots. Get around bitch tits. I need a massive checkup or something. That's what I need. Got a little bit of grip up here. Fresh tires. Cruise up into the wall a little bit. Not because I want to, but just because he's kind of in the way. I'm going to get back up in at least the top 15. Oop, did not mean to do that, Rob. That'll be a fight. Right on next bumper, try to get under him and Crowder. Oh, 
I don't want to move him, but I might have to. Come on, Johnny boy. Let's go. Oh no, no! Ah! They gave me my spot back. What? Okay. Okay, I dig it. Okay, maybe they felt bad about the black flag from earlier and gave me another chance. That's all I can think. I'm on the outside, which isn't the best line to be on. Giving me much room to work with here. Shepard's up here quite a good ways into the field. I really got to focus here because, like, that was a miracle. I got my spot back. I don't think I've ever gotten my spot back ever. See a low line. Trying not to get in the back of Crowder, but I might have to move him up the, up the track a little there. All right, getting back on Grace's bumper here. Nice. Third Crowder. a certain amount of trail braking you gotta do here to be fast. So hard to do it because it's right on the edge of spinning. Sorry Tim. Up the Bigfoot's bumper already. We're fast. We're within the top ten. We're seventh. Is this redemption I see? Maybe. Am I going to choke again? Huh. Huh. Let's go. Let's go, Greg. Push him up the track a touch, get him out of his groove. I think I cleared him. Nice. I think that's top of oh, fourth. Sweet. Got eight to go. Driving the shit out of this truck. There's Buzzard right there. I can at least catch third place. Looks like Jester's going after uh, Kyle there. Six to go. Oh. 
Oh no. No, 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 no! Motherfucker! We have a winning truck, but can we do it in four laps? Five laps? Four laps? Maybe. I'm crazy enough to do it. But I'm gonna be very upsetty spaghetti whenever it comes down to the end and I crash this damn truck and I end up with last place, you know. Going green. Single file? Okay. Cody up a little. This he wasn't for position. Two to go. Most intense drag break you've ever seen. It's blown up. <sighs> that sucks. I'm taking the white flag. White flag is out and Kyle Duran is in the lead. Oh, they are crashing over in turn three. Turn three, turn four. Jimbo ain't putting it out. It stays green. They already took the white flag, so Kyle Duran is making his way to victory. Looks like Jester in second place here behind him, followed by Buzzard rounding out your top three. Kyle Duran wins here at five flags for the pro truck. Running order, Kyle Duran in first, Jester in second, Buzzard in third, Creek Richard in fourth, Shadow Snake fifth, Bigfoot in sixth, Kenneth McGill in seventh, Devin Cunningham, our big mover in eighth, Brandon Shepard in ninth, and Nick Pierce rounding out the top ten. We hope you enjoyed tonight's event. And here is our standings for the series so far.